Yes, yes. Leo, do you want to go first or second? I'm going second. Right. And Leo chooses to go second with the faster median in the previous round. And welcome everyone to the long-awaited Grand Finals of Monkey League Season 2, a rematch from the Grand Finals of Season 1, Timon Kajashinski versus Leo Bormeo. Both have shown excellent form throughout the season, defeating almost everyone, uh, and in Timon's case, defeating hey, everyone. Uh, so it'll be fascinating okay. to see how this plays out today in this best of nine okay. sets of first to three solves. Wait, Competitors will alternate starting so oh, okay. solves and screen. starting sets. And that was an interesting ZB okay. there. Uh, I'm ready. Well, team on starting off with what looked like a relatively efficient F2L and, and a nice ZB case, but he just couldn't execute it as quickly as he would have liked to. And Leo, a bit of hesitation as well, but finishing quickly on the F2L. Oh, and just can't finish the PLL quite quick enough, That's losing that first good. solve by... Twelve hundredths of a second. Throughout the season, Leo has been averaging quicker. He's had a much faster median than Team on throughout the season, but he's already lost twice to Team on this season. It just seems that in the, in the head to head, Team on just takes the advantage and. Well, Leo's gonna hope that he can overcome that, you know, psychological deficit and solve time deficit today. Leo, a little bit shocked by the scramble there. Can he finish it in a 503? Well, let's see if Team On sees what Leo gasped at. Leo does that a lot on easy scrambles, and you can tell he's not quite sure if he's gonna win this with a 503. A few lockups. Where's the ZB? Not fast enough for Team On, and a DNF. Well, beating a 503 does take quite perfect solving, uh, even on the easier scrambles. You know, sub fives are not uh, not a walk in the park. So 1-1, one, one, and we've got a close one here. Both solves, you know, pretty decent for both competitors. And, you know, one went one way, the other went the other way. Uh, it's going to be a long match, and, well, let's see who can set the tone in their favor. Oh, that was a great first two pairs by Timon, but the next two were just a little bit hesitant. He couldn't find the most efficient solution as fast as possible. The last layer was good, but Leo will definitely look to beat this 686. And also a very nice F12 from Leo. And even with the end perm, he's going to safely take that with a 607. Beautifully smooth, fast. And efficient by Leo Borromeo. Taking a 2-1 lead in this first set. Setting the tone. I swore I was Leo while I was sleeping And Leo, self-critical as most top cubers are. Even with that great solve, noticing what he did wrong and looking to improve on it in the future. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, and a lot of lockups on that PLL for Leo. Looked like he locked for about a second there. 7.15, well... Team on the master of safety. Yeah. Shaking. Can he overcome his early nerves? Oh, very smooth F2L. Oh, but some lockups on the OLL, some nerves in a 664. Yeah, normally for Team On, beating a 715 is you know, trivial, but it seems that he's quite nervous today. And this first set will go to the deciding fifth solve. Here we will see the starting second advantage. Leo will know what he has to beat, and he'll have to beat something good. Yes. No, the lockups on the T perm. That F2L and OLL was amazing. And he locked up so much going into that PLL transition, but it's still a 553, and Leo is laughing at this scramble. What? What? No way! No way! A 403! A 403! It looks like they did the same solution! And Leo takes the first set 3 to 2! And the scramble was easy! Lockups making all the difference there! What the heck was that? Yep. Leo starting the second set quickly here. Wow, and a five thirty. That was beautiful. <laughs> and Timon's amazing as well. No, the last layer is just too long and a 598. Well, a slight nuance in the F2L solution led to a more unfortunate last layer case for Timon, and that made the difference, Leo taking that first solve. Oh no, and you can see Team on trembling. That F2L solution, just a nerve check for him. Yeah. And a 715. Look ahead is struggling with these nerves. And you can just feel the anxious energy. Well, Leo, moving into PLL smoothly in a 640, safetying that one. Gonna take a 2 0 lead in the second set. Looking to take a quick 2-0 lead in this match. Oh, 
Well, nothing about that solved looked fortunate. Uh, a tough inspection into a tough last layer from start to finish, but still a 696. Will Timon be able to safety sub 696 here to keep himself in this set? And a lot of lockups, but very efficient. And a beautiful 624 by Timon. Even with the tough cases. And Leo saying, bring it on. Ready to go it's here. On. It's on. It's And a must-win scenario here for Timon to keep himself in the set. And starting first makes it more difficult. It's quite a bit of hesitation, but finishing the F2L smoothly. A 687, though. And Leo's going to look to beat a 687 here to take the second set. Oh, very smooth, and an OLL cancellation, a beautiful 558. Oh my goodness. Leo has arrived. A 3-1 win in the second set, and now a 2-0 lead in the match. The nerves once dominated Leo, now fluster team on. Trembling in the wake of dominance. Send the picture with Philip. Oh, and Leo with the six sixteen just barely taking it. Timon's still trying to decide if it's good, but it won't matter. I mean, it, it looks good to me, but I guess I can look at it. Um, oh dear. Yeah, I'll call that good. Yeah, I, from from this angle that you guys see, it does look like good. But from the angle Timon sent me, it's like, oh my god, it's it's really just like right on the line. But I'll call it good. Oh, what a fast F2L, but he didn't know the ZB. Still a 553 with a nice last layer case. And Timon once again needing to beat absolute amazing speed from Leo. What we saw against Felix has not gone away. If anything, he's just gotten better. Maintaining incredible speed, and Timon gonna need to pull out his best ever solving here.
Oh, that's a great F2L start from Team On. Oh no, the end of the F2L is just nowhere near. Oh my goodness. And Team On is tilted, plus twoing that with a frustrated timer stop, not having this at all. And Leo making it look easy, but it is not. Timon has dominated all season, and Leo making it look like beating him is trivial, but we must understand that Leo has brought the same god mode we saw against Felix here today. And is this the new normal? Well, maybe Leo has figured something out about his nerve management, about his competition readiness. He looks composed, ready to pounce, ready to win. Will Timon be able to come back here? What? That was such a fast start by Timon, but an unfortunate OLL and PLL case and a 599. Oh, so oh my goodness, that was an insanely quick start to the F2L. That pickup. Will Leo see the same thing and be more fortunate on the last layer? Will he force something better? Oh, a 444! Are you kidding me? What? No way. Takes a sip of Milo. <sighs> and he's here to play, taking the third set, three to zero. Three O Boromio has arrived, taking a three O lead in the set, and absolutely incredible solves. Wow, brilliant, fast turning, great look ahead, and even with a little bit of uncertainty there in the F2L solution, an amazing 544, and Leo is staring down Team On, cutting into his soul. Quick start from Timon. Wow! No, the lockup on the last layer and a 595 once again losing with a high five. And Timon, I don't know how yeah, he's thinking about this, but. Get locked here. Yes. It's just, I mean, when Leo gets low fives, it's hard to beat, no matter how good you are. At some point, you're just unlucky. Wow. Leo is currently rocking a 5.58 median against Timon's 624. 5.58 median time. You heard me right. And another great F12 from Timon, and a great ZB recognition, but a plus two. Not solving the cube, and leaving the door wide open here for Leo to try and beat an 8.18. Oh, but he's lo his look at is extremely scuffed. <laughs> and just barely managing to stop the timer after he finished his solve there. And once again, Leo with a 2-0 lead, 
putting Team Ones back against the wall. Gonna have to win every solve in this set from here on out. Oh, that was a great F2L star from Leo. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. A 574. Unfortunate F perm there for Leo. But that F2L was so smooth. Wow. And team on switching cubes. Fascinating. Will it work? Oh, my God. And a lot of lockups. A 655. Oh. And Leo takes another set. 3 0 Borromeo. And 4 to nothing. 4 to nothing. Leo summoning his powers during this break. Deeply breathing, concentrating, looking around, taking in the world. One more set, three more solves, one championship. This could be it. This could also be the start of the most insane comeback ever seen in any sporting event of all time. Will he manage? They both are nervous. Seven, six, five, four, Three, three, three. That is the number of solves Leo needs to win out of the next five to win this match and season two of Monkey League. And Timon will start first. The starting second advantage that Leo chose at the beginning of the match. It comes into effect here. He will have the advantage if this goes to five. Very smooth F2L from Team On. Ah, and another plus two. Team On just not able to solve the cube today. Safetying the stop, 622. Two. Two. Two more solves. And we have a season two champion. Two more solves for Leo. We're seeing the nerves now. We're seeing the trembles. We're seeing the lockups. We're seeing Leo on the brink. Can he jump over the fence? Can he overcome this final obstacle?
and a 607. Winning a solve for the first time in what feels like years. Team on, tying up the set. Knowing it's not over till it's over. And now, a best of three solves. They both need two before the other one gets two. And a great 597. Despite those nerves, Leo impressed, and yes, that was impressive. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh. Leo. Another 553. And team on losing again with a high five. One. One more solve. Leo Borromeo trying to win Monkey League Season 2. Overcoming the nerves. And this is the final, the final fence. And the oh. ZB and the reset. Oh my gosh. It was an amazing solve, but a reset, oh, yeah, yeah, and that yeah, will yeah, be a I'm resolve sorry. for both competitors. RNG did not want him yes. to succeed once. He will need to succeed many more times. Solving first. A brilliant F2L, some lockups, and a 591. A 591 is the time to beat. Leo Borromeo, hoping it's enough. Can Timon prolong this a little longer? Or will Leo Borromeo be your Monkey League Season 2 champion? It all comes down to this. Wow! Yeah. A brilliant turning! Yeah. Brilliant! 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 Absolutely clutch performance by Timon! Did you see that cube go burn? And we have a tied set! One solve. Will Timon score a set or will Leo win the season? Wow! Brilliant! Amazing! Oh no, and a 592!
The cube is solved. Leo will need to beat a 592 on this solve to win the season. Championship on the line for Leo Bormeo. We will watch closely. The lockups! He got it! He got it! He got it! We have a new champion! We have a new champion! Leo Borromeo! Absolutely brilliant! 5 to 0! 5 to 0, and he cannot believe it! He just came fast and faster and faster and never stopped getting faster. And it was just too much for Timon, who solved well throughout the match. But against Leo's God Mode, few, if no one, anyone, will have any chance. And Leo once again finishing with a sub-6 median. The streak is over, and a new champion is crowned. Congratulations. Hello. All right. Well, uh, what a what a crazy match. I was supposed to be giving out gift cards, but then I forgot because you guys were destroying the cube, and it was really dramatic, and I, I didn't do my job too good. But uh, I promise next next stream we'll do we'll do more giveaways. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, congratulations on uh, finishing uh, Monkey League season two. Uh, it's been uh, a very long journey, over a month of races against some of the world's best cubers. Uh, so can I just get some thoughts from you guys about uh, how this journey went, and uh, you know maybe some of your best favorite experiences? starting uh well, why, why don't you start Timon? okay i mean it was almost like last season so i don't know it was just fun to compete again mm -hmm. at a high level but obviously with the exception that i lost the final this time <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Interesting. I, I was basically over from the start like my hands were called at the start of the match and i already knew i'm not gonna solve well. <laughs> And uh, Leo, could you tell us about your journey through Monkey League Season 2, perhaps your favorite race or your favorite moment in a match, and uh, how you feel now? Well, yes, I mean, I have to introduce myself uh, from, you know, losing two months from uh, 1.5 and the Monkey League Season 1. So, yeah, I I went uh, into the season with a three goal. And that was the win. So, you know, I lost my first two matches against Timo. Yeah, yeah. What can we do about that? But uh, my favorite match would probably be the one against Felix. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, I was I was there. It was around ten o'clock p.m. my time, so it was around my bedtime. So half of my like thought process was. I gotta go to sleep, so like, I hope you, like, I hope someone wins, but then I wanted to watch more cubing and I didn't want to go to sleep. That was <laughs> a fantastic match. That was, that was really great. Um, I couldn't help but notice the, the shirt you're wearing, so can I just say this? Those aren't random finger tricks either. They're targeted, and each single one of them is more than 100% of his power. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did great today. Yes. Uh, who, who's your favorite My Hero character? I don't know. Probably Becky. Becky. But my yeah. yeah, he's the main character. All right, cool. All right, so uh, guys, plans for the future. I know it might be a little late in Asia right now, and uh, perhaps getting late in, in Europe. Uh, what are you going to do for the rest of today? And uh, what are your keeping plans in uh, the near future? I don't know, I'm gonna okay. have to figure out a way to warm up faster. Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, have, I have exams. So, you have exams. I have, 
exams. I have exams. And I have school. So basically I cannot <laughs> I can barely keep. Like like in, in the week leading up to the snacks, I on, I did left on on the shops. In total. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, you didn't show it. You you look like you've been practicing for for ages, all the time, and you're always warmed up. So, awesome. Uh, do you guys have any plans for the new future? Maybe in the next few months, uh, any cool cubing events that you're uh, participating in? I mean, I'm I'm gonna participate in the next season of Monkey League when that's a thing. <laughs> sure, sure, of course. Same if I'm not busy in school. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, so uh, interesting question for you guys. So the next season of Monkey League, obviously, I don't think we've penciled in a list of people to to participate. But if you could pick one person who you think would do really well on Monkey League who hasn't competed before, who do you think you would invite? Max Park. Max Park? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... Uh, it's a it's a pity Nam is uh, doing military service. He, yeah. he would have been cool too. Uh, Nam and uh, maybe we can get some roof solvers in here. Maybe Sean Patrick. So he does not keep anymore. He doesn't he does keep anymore. I mean, no. I mean, he has like school and stuff, and he's perfect and that. Yeah. But he is averaging like seven. Oh, okay. He's always averaging seven though. Yeah, just casually third in the world. Okay, like <laughs> sure. Sure, yeah, sure. Most sure. of his averages were over seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so yeah, this has been this has been incredible. Uh, that five forty two that Timon got, uh, that fist pump was one of the most <laughs> intense things I've ever seen in cubing. You know, when all the <laughs> odds are when all the odds are stacked against you, and you like you beat a five with another five after yeah. there was a, a redo. That's that was great, and. Uh, I hope you can show the uh, the same intensity in in future matches. This is what makes this Leo team on dynamic really interesting. Uh, I see you guys a lot on cubing at home, Monkey League, social media in general. Uh, congrats on the the viral Facebook video uh, for, <laughs> for Leo. It was pretty impressive. So, yeah, yeah. I hope this uh, I hope this magic and I hope this awesome dynamic never goes away. And uh, really grateful to. You know, to to watch you raise your speed cubing. I mean, you guys are very young guys, and I uh, hope you save a lot of your future for cubing because I think this entire audience really loves you guys. Uh, before we wrap up, do you have anything you'd like to say to the viewers uh, on this Twitch stream? I think there are around four hundred of them, so quite a quite a lot of people. I don't know. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yes. I mean, yeah. Uh the other way to know my my dad passed away, so I don't think what's happening when I was. Yeah, uh, really sorry to hear that uh, about your about your grandfather. Um, yeah, the world is uh, a really crazy place right now, and uh, you definitely didn't deserve the world to get worse for you. So really sorry to hear that, and I hope your family takes care. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, it for me. Uh, I'll let these guys go. They've uh, been cubing really hard. I know it's really late at night for Leo and uh, yeah, probably almost the evening for uh, t -Monk. So yeah, thank yeah. you so much for uh, our yeah. host. Uh, yeah, 5 p.m. Uh, thank you so much uh, to our host, uh, Philip, for uh, organizing this uh, entire circuit of events. I mean, he brought together some of the world's greatest cubers and put them in one ecosystem where they destroy each other for our entertainment. So, so thank you so much. And uh, thanks for having me on to do these interviews. It's great to talk to these talented people. And uh, I guess if I had to say one last thing, I think Milo should really pay you for that product placement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank so, you, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, that's it for me. Thanks. Right. Take care. Um, thanks. Well, uh, you know what, guys? You guys were great today. Uh, the chat was amazing. I was not as horrible. You were great, dude. Like you had a six twenty four I mean, median. I would have been great if my hands were warm. Like yeah, I, I really well done, Leo. That was amazing. Um, yeah, Leo was good. Congratulations. And 
Yeah, thank you so much to all the fans. You guys really make it all like. That's, I mean, we do it for the fans, right? Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so that's it for season two of the Monkey League. Um, season three, uh, of course, we want to do a season three, um, but it's probably going to be a few months uh, at least before we start that. Um, uh, so just stay tuned. Um, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate all the all the support. You know, anyone who's like subscribed or like went on my Patreon and supported or donated to the prize pool. There were like a lot of donations. Really appreciate that for the competitors. And um, yeah, we we hope to be back. And uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Really appreciate everything. And I'm glad you guys enjoy. Okay. Bye. Do you think